Mia has had a crush on Jim forever. But Mia's not the only one with feelings. And now here she is doing the honeycomb challenge for him, using her glasses and the power of physics. Maybe this candy heart will get his attention. She'd do anything for him. The heart Caroline cut out really did help her, and it did get Jim's attention. Mia's absolutely miserable. Yesterday, she and Jim were happy, and today, this other girl is in the way. They're so cute, it makes me sick. It's impossible to ignore. She's definitely ignoring this guard who's secretly in love with her. He fell in love at first sight, but he can't get up the guts to talk to her. She seems so intimidating, but so attractive. But she's in love with Jim right now. She doesn't care about anyone else, except Caroline. She came out of nowhere. Mia has to teach this wannabe a lesson. She's on the war path, but something went wrong. Caroline's face didn't get stuck in the trap. Jim's hand did. He's never been this stuck before, but isn't this a little romantic? What? Mia accidentally set up Jim and Caroline's first kiss. That's nasty. And this guard keeps watching her. He's a weirdo. What does he want from me? Don't forget, you're not here to date. You're here for Squid Game. And you'll have to do the tasks. Mia loved it when Caroline nearly failed the doll challenge. But Jim didn't let her lose. And he turned the awkward moment into a dance. Hmm. Not even the doll can resist his charm. If Mia wants to get Jim back, she'll have to act big, starting with some spying. You'll see all kinds of things in the vents. These guards are so weird. At least they're having fun. Mia, stay focused. Hold on, what's what? this? That weird guard again. Where'd he get all these pictures of her? Freak? That's weird, but it's not Mia's priority right now. She'll figure it out later. And here's what she's looking for. The guard is mixing something in Jim's pot. Mia can use the love potion she bought online. She has to act big, right? So she poured the whole bottle in. But the potion was actually liquid baking soda. So instead of a tiny piece of candy, Jim got a huge chunk of honeycomb. Take a look at these candies. Notice anything strange? This guard needs your help. Matching candies are boring. We need some unique design. Let's see if you were paying attention. How many one-of-a-kind candies did you notice? Tell us in the comments and let's see who gets it right. Let's get back to it. They're about to play tug of war. Who knew it was possible to ruin this game? Caroline and Jim sure did ruin it. Mia is getting sick of all this cutesy stuff. Time to shock them out of it. Yeehaw! There's a cowboy in Squid Game. And this game ain't big enough for the two of them. Mia's happy, but the guard rained on her parade. He's trying to talk to her again, but she doesn't understand him. Mia needs to distract Jim from Caroline. Marbles can help her. Mia okay. starts letting Jim win, hoping he'll appreciate it. But he's not super attentive. He didn't even notice Caroline's hints. Then she tried to do it again, putting her marbles in the same place. But Jim got it wrong. Mia is furious at him, and so is Caroline. But before they could fight him, they have to fight each other. Caroline okay. is determined to win. She calculates which hand the marbles are in. But she messed up some numbers and lost to Mia. That made the couple a little sad. That's exactly what Mia wanted. The guard even left her alone. Where'd he go? Let's get back to Mia. 
she saw Caroline with a photo. Clearly, the photo means a lot to her. So Mia needs to get it at all costs. As soon as Caroline falls asleep, Mia gets the photo. Okay. And then tears it into a no. thousand pieces. The only thing left is the secret admirer. He's happy about that. When Mia sees the lovebirds, she loses her gaming spirit completely. <laughs> I love you. We can do it together. Ugh. Doesn't it make you sick? And now they're dancing again? Mia can't wait for this to end. But the madder she gets, the more mistakes she makes. Jim and Caroline already ruined Mia's squid game experience. Here's hoping they don't ruin what? her lunch next. Oh, you wish. They're acting super cringy during lunch, too. And ruining Mia's appetite. Aw, the guard personally boiled these eggs. Mia's secret admirer can't get any work done. He's so anxious that he'll never get to be with Come Mia. On. But at least he has friends who'd help him get by. He's so insecure. So before he can make a move, he needs to get ready. It would have gone great if Mia didn't show up. She has no idea what's going on. She doesn't have time to deal with the guard. She's too busy dealing with the lovebirds. Mia is so lonely. It's like they're in their own little world. Mia wants to do something nice for Jim, but he doesn't like junk food. He's all about being healthy. If Mia's doing that, then the guard is into exercise too. He doesn't have much time, so he starts working out. He hopes that if he gets super jacked, then Mia will notice him. This guard is way more motivated than the rest of them, and he stands out from the crowd. Maybe because he's lonely? Or because of the smell? It started as a normal day. Same old tasks, same old egg and water for lunch. But all of a sudden, Jim proposed to Caroline. Caroline was shocked, and so was Mia. She wishes she could be in Caroline's place. Is it really over for her? Did she lose Jim forever? Well, it's time for the wedding. Squid Game is closed for the day to give the players the chance to get married. Mia can't let this happen. She wants to ruin the wedding and tell Jim everything. <laughs> But then, the shy guard finally confessed his feelings to Mia. Yeah. Then everything changed. Instead of one wedding, we're having two! Hey. Oh. Or not. What do you think? Should yes. Mia marry the guard? No. Comment your answer down below. Trim Trim High, it's always a very chaotic place. It's time to change that. Mr. Martin has great news. It's time to choose wow. your new student body president. This happens once every four years. Like Tony, the richest guy in school, is confident that getting more powerful will make him more popular and he'll finally be king. As for Joey, who is nowhere near as rich, he just wants validation. The first step on the journey to the presidency is an aggressive ad campaign. Joey already has an idea. Joey's campaign has three main issues. Part one, no teachers. Part two, no exams. Everyone's on board, right? And part three, Joey didn't have enough paper for part three, so he wrote it on his shirt. More paper! Wow, Joey, that's a pretty strong platform, but not everyone's into it. Tony already changed clothes.
Tony's so rich that he can afford to do a really impressive presentation. The crowd doesn't want your pathetic promises. They want impressive visuals and big commitments. But something unexpected made it into the recording. This is a disaster. The campaign can't start with a scandal. But Tony's determined to win. The only thing voters love more than big promises is a dramatic show. Elections are more like a party around here, and Tony knows all about that. So he's going to encourage people to bet on the race. If you want votes, you have to get people's attention. But don't forget that gambling isn't always allowed, especially at school. Mr. Martin chases the voters away, and he's about to read Tony the riot act. Since Tony loves gambling so much, maybe he'll want to bet on his grades. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Great choice! It's an F! Sorry, yeah. Tony. Gambling is dangerous. Just because the election is happening doesn't mean tests are canceled. But tests are a great chance to win over some voters. Joey is a great student, and he can help his classmates with their tests. They'll probably vote for him now. You can get better poll numbers, not just by dazzling voters, but also by doing good deeds. Joey just got another voter, and it's not a student. Mr. Martin is impressed by Joey's enthusiasm. If Joey helps him get better reviews, <gasps> then Mr. Martin will endorse him. Wow, getting his endorsement would mean a lot to Joey. Tony has already covered campus with his own campaign flyers. He has so much money that he can afford to commit voter fraud. He'll buy votes if he has to. Or even if he doesn't have to. He'll even pay his rival. Joey accepts the bribe. This money could really help him with his campaign. For example, he can use it to buy his own voters back. <laughs> Pretty soon, our whole campus is going to be covered in Tony's flyers. Apparently, while the election is going on, Tony rented all the printers and scanners on campus. Troom Troom High hasn't seen such an aggressive PR campaign since the actual presidential election. Tony's dad was in that, by the way. Joey had to clear the path to his locker. But that looks like vandalism. Mr. Martin isn't happy. He makes Joey clean up all the flyers. No fair! If only someone would help. Wow! The universe itself heard Joey's call for help. While Joey was cleaning the glue off the lockers, he suddenly got another endorsement. The janitor is happy. This is the first presidential candidate who hasn't looked down on his hard work. A well-fed voter is a good voter. Joey is going to feed his classmates with the only thing he could afford, pasta. A ton of people want to have free food, and they all showed up right away. But Joey isn't the only one who got this idea. His competition has a more interesting approach. Free pizza for everyone who votes for him. Classic voter fraud. Joey is losing this round. Hey, if Tony wants a war, he'll get it. And the crowd will get another show. Everyone can fight for their candidate. As for Tony's guard, he can finally get some rest. It looks like this fight will never end. But Joey has an ace up his sleeve. Food cooked by his mom. You know who suffers the most during elections? Cleaners! All these dramatic performances leave a huge mess. The worst part is, 
Nobody respects pizza anymore. The pizzas turned into weapons. Since Tony's the richest student, he's a target for bullies. That's why he has a personal security guard. Tony doesn't have time for bullying. He's too busy campaigning. But the bullies are pretty simple folks. They don't really care who they bully. This particular bully stopped just in time. He won't torture Joey. Instead, he'll ask to be friends. He's always wanted to be a bodyguard. Good thing Nate can't really read. An election means debates. Joey is having trouble preparing his speech. He's been up for days trying to write it, but he just can't think of the right words. Joey isn't alone. He helped Mr. Martin. That's one thing Joey doesn't have to worry about. But what should he wear to the debate? Joey doesn't have any formal clothing. He can't go naked. Everyone would laugh at him. No matter how good his speech is, if he looks like a clown, people are gonna laugh at him. No, stay positive. Joey, pull yourself together. The people have to hear you. Joey is doing an amazing job. At some point, even Tony starts to believe him. But then he remembers that he has to do a speech too. He starts off strong. The secret to his success is his bodyguard, who's feeding him lines in an earpiece. The only thing Tony didn't consider is that his bodyguard's favorite team has a game today. Wow, this is gonna be bad. Hopefully the team doesn't win. Or it'll be awkward. No, they won! Tony shouldn't have put all his eggs in one basket. Acting like this during a debate won't help him win votes. Tony is the laughing stock of the school again. Nathan and Joey's friendship could lead to something amazing. For example, Nathan can teach Joey how to play dirty. Like how to get rid of the competition. Nate has a lot of different weapons. His favorite one is this straw. Nathan's is special and modified. This baby doesn't shoot spitballs, but actual paintballs. <gasps> Tony is totally wrecked. And this is only the beginning. Joey hit the bullseye. The paint got rid of the word president. The polls are closing on election day. Soon we'll find out who will be our next president. It seems like everyone's calmed down about the election hype, except for the candidates. We just have to count the votes. Hey, there's been election interference. The wet floor mixed up the votes. Now there's no time for a fair election. Whoever collects the most ballots from the floor first wins. Tony is sick of all of this. Let's settle this like men. No, that doesn't work either. At least for the janitor, no matter what you say, the power lies with the people. That's what happened. Accidentally, in the end, the student body president is the janitor. Now our campus will be cleaner than ever. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss a new video from Troom Troom Trick.